Hi guys and welcome back to Fallout 76. My name is Digi and today we're going to be looking at the Initiate of Mysteries, which is a quest line that follows after the Into the Mysteries quest. So once you complete Into the Mysteries, this is where you are. This is pretty much what you're at. You've just discovered the room. So you want to access this terminal here. Once you do, you'll get a bunch of instructions. Also, you'll get a miscellaneous quest pop up as well to use the fabricator to repair your worn veil. So let's do that. To get to the fabricator, I kind of go a little bonkers here and I didn't jump over the railing. But if you come down the stairs and come around and through this door, this is the fabricator room. Quite cool. Over here is the fabricator, and it pretty much has two options. One is to read the instructions, and the other is to print. The instructions are pretty straightforward. Hello, ladies. Meet the newest addition to our production facility, the Order of Mysteries Automated Fabrication System. I think it's our best invention yet. Lately, we've been spending more and more time making the routine items, blah, 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 etc., etc. It goes on and on. So we've built this little guy. Just select the item you want, insert the components, and it should be able to assemble la da 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 so, supplies are limited, so you can only make each item once. That's a little restrictive, so let's do that. You hit Fabrication Services, and ask it to print out the veil, and boom. So you can hear it printing in the background. Now, one thing to note is that you automatically pick it up. So, no point in going looking around like an idiot like I did. It's already been picked up. You can see in the left there, it's been added. So, the next thing we need to do is we need to listen to the holotape assigned to this. Not the one I'm listening to right now, mind you. That just happened to be there. I'm going to let you listen to that on your own. We will listen to the holotape assigned to the mission, though. So let's go and do that. To do that, you need to access your inventory, like so. Uh, go to holo, and it should be there. I'll let you have a quick listen there. Years ago, I began training the girls we adopted to fight like the mistress of mysteries, the hero I played for all those years on the radio. Does that sound a little silly? I suppose it did to me too, at first. But the world needs the mistress. It needs people with the strength to face the darkness, the will to survive against any odds. It needs you. It's time for you to join our sisterhood. The Order of the Mistresses of Mystery. You won't have to walk this path alone. For the next few months, you'll be training with one of your sisters. If you have someone you want to work with, that's fine. If not, Cryptos will assign you a mentor. And as soon as I get back, we'll sit down for tea. Just the two of us. I promise. So it turns out where you need to be is not too far away. It's just down here in Lewisburg. Now, you won't have a fast travel at this point, I'd imagine, so you're going to have to hike it there. I did that. Um, I actually did it twice. The first time, this place was infested with mutants. And the second time, it was infested with robots. So the first was really, really difficult to clear. Um, and then I died. And when I came back a little while later, it was, it was uh, populated with robots. So your mods may vary as to what you find yourself uh, doing. Here as well, I found one of the codes for the um, missile launch. But anyway, so... In here, this is like the center of the town, you spot this uh, Nuka-Cola machine, and just there, you'll spot who you're looking for, your mentor. Good morning. I'm sorry to drop this on you. Tiana hasn't reported in from her last mission. Olivia and I are heading out to investigate. I have a lead on a raider scouting party. I need you to follow up on it. Standard protocol. Secure the location, look for signs of raider activity, and report back to the manor. Be careful, dear. I can't bear to lose anyone else. So now it's broken up to a two-parter. We've the optional search for raiders. So let's do that. So back into the town square. And if you just look up here, you'll spot there's a little bridge going across. So we want to get up there. We're going to do that through this building. Not that way, of course. You can't walk through a wall. you got to go back around and in the door. We shouldn't be encountering any resistance because I made a point to clear out pretty much everything I could before I moved on to the quest. There's a safe in there requiring skill level 2 if you have it. I did not, therefore I couldn't do it. Just come through this door and you have a stairway going up. So up, up, up you go. 
and it's pretty straightforward from here up around you see the ladder going across there which we're also going to walk across and boom we have a raider there this is the first time i've actually seen a vertebrate in fallout 76 so i took a moment to admire it can't blame me and we'll pick up some stuff bit of reading involved here la da 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 etc etc i'm going to leave you to read most of this stuff yourself so, back at the home base, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to log into Cryptos, the computer terminal. And only this time, log in is Natasha. So, Natasha's a mistress, so she can promote people at lower ranks than her to ranks not equaling or above hers, if that makes sense. So, a few different options Natasha has. Uh, you can have a read around there. There's nothing really important or nothing I found too fascinating. No story or anything like that. Just a computer giving a bunch of computer stuff. And then, below database queries, there's administrative act actions. We're going to want to go there. And from there, we're going to want to go to authorize promotion. Bingo. And authorize promotion for novice of mysteries, and scroll down to the bottom user. That's you, unknown user. And it will say, hey, you know, have that user log in to claim this promotion. And you're going to be like, great, I'm going to log in and I'm going to claim this promotion. So go ahead and log in to claim the promotion. Now remember, you're unknown user, so select that. And it's gonna say, whoa, congratulations. You're now novice of mysteries. Fantastic, well done. It's dispensing a hollow tape. You're gonna to have to listen to the hollow tape. All right, so that's the first part of the next um, mission, so to speak. Only if you look, we're still on the same mission. It's still saying log in to claim your promotion, which is kind of annoying. So you're like thinking, sure, let me just back out of the computer here real quick and it will complete, right? Wrong. What we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go back into the computer and right back onto that page we were on. I do this so you don't have to. So back in again, because here's what we did wrong. Instead of backing out at this point, you need to press X. And when you press X, you get that continue screen. Then you press it again. Now look, it's completed. Now it's completed. So you should get some items here when we back out. Back out, back out, back out, back out. There's not really much there in terms of reading. And there we go. We have a completion. We got some Radaway. Right it diluted anyway. And some shotgun shells. Absolutely fantastic. The quest is now complete. And it moves on to the next in the quest line, which is Novice of Mysteries. This is an absolutely fantastic quest line. And I really hope you're enjoying it. I'll have another video up shortly with Novice of Mysteries. In the meantime, if you like this video, please do hit the like button and like the video. If you're not already subscribed, consider a subscription. And until next time, take it easy. All the best.